Good morning guys and welcome to another week of Bible stories on here. I'm so glad that you guys decided to join me and I hope you all had an awesome week with your families and were able to go outside for a little bit and enjoy the sun um, that we had this week. Okay, so this whole month and actually next month, we're studying what? What was that word that we learned last week? Faith. Yes, faith. And we are focusing on what faith is. Now, I have a picture that I want to show you guys, and I want you guys to guess what it is. Wow, wasn't that so cool? That's what we call an optical illusion. Now, what did you guys see on there? I saw a bunch of black dots. You saw something else? Well, what did you see? Oh, a panda. You're right. I was trying to trick you guys. If you were able to focus on the picture, you guys saw a panda. How cool is that? Faith is like that. When we focus on who God is and we study his word, and we pray, we learn something new about him. Isn't that so cool? Let's see what faith is. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Today, our Bible story is going to be found in the book of Acts. We're going to read through chapter 9 and I'm also going to summarize the story for you so we won't read it word for word from the Bible but I encourage you guys to go back this week with your family and read through the chapter again and talk about maybe something new that you discovered together so if you guys don't have your Bibles go and grab it and we'll go ahead and get started today we are going to learn about a guy named Saul who is also known as Paul when he was a young man Saul was sent to Jerusalem to study with the famous rabbi Gamil like many of the religious leaders at the time, Saul believed that he was closer to God because of how closely that he followed God's rules. He carefully studied God's law. He prayed three times a day. Like the other religious leaders, Saul was caught off guard by Jesus and what he was teaching. Him and the other leaders were so upset that Jesus claimed to be God's son. You see, Jesus died on the cross, but his followers claim that they have seen him alive and that he returned. Against all odds, the numbers of the, the people who followed Jesus began to grow. And if you guys remember from last month, we talked about how um, the followers just continued to grow. The new church was growing. Um, we talked about Stephen and how he was arrested. And Saul was actually there when he was arrested. He was holding the coats of the people who were stoning Stephen and who eventually ended up killing him. Saul became known for hunting people down who believed in Jesus. When he discovered that some Jews in the city of Dam Damascus were following Jesus, he went to the high priest, Cephas. Saul asked Cephas for letters to the synagogues in Damascus to give him permission to arrest the believers and take them back to Jerusalem. Saul traveled with a group of men to arrest the believers they found. After days on the road, they were close to Damascus. As they neared the city, suddenly a flash of light surrounded Saul. He fell to the ground. Saul heard a voice from heaven speak to him. Listen to what the voice said. We're going to read from Acts 9, starting at verse 4 to 6. Saul, Saul, why are you opposing me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. I am Jesus, he replied. I am the one you are opposing. Now get up and go into the city. There you will be told what you must do. The men traveling with Saul stood there amazed. They couldn't even speak. Saul got up and he couldn't see. The other men led Saul by the hand to, into Damascus. Saul stayed there at the home of a man named Judas on Straight Street. For three days, Saul was blind. He didn't eat or drink anything. Saul thought that he knew the truth, and then he came face to face with a man who he thought for sure was dead, and to find out that Jesus was actually alive. God opened up Saul's eyes in a pretty dramatic way. Saul had spent his life up until then trying to stop the message of Jesus. But now he could see the truth, that Jesus was really God's son. You see, knowing Jesus changes the way that you see everything. God opens our eyes too in a lot of different ways, and he has us see things from his point of view. For example, when we know Jesus, something that seems bad that's happening to you, you might look at it as something that could be used for good later on and used as a lesson. Sometimes God speaks to us through experiences. 
like maybe you're outside on a sunny day and you notice the beautiful world that God created and you feel closer to him than you ever have before. Or maybe you hear a song about God that teaches you something new about him. Or maybe you have a friend who always shows you God's love. But however you get to know Jesus better, it's always worth it because knowing Jesus changes the way that you see everything. Let's go ahead and close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for this beautiful day, God. Thank you for the sun shining and for all of the creation that you made, Lord. Thank you for loving us so much that you gave us Jesus, God, so that we could know you and live with you forever, Lord. Please be with each and every one of these uh, families who are watching and who are not watching, Lord. And just thank you for showing them who you are, Lord. Thank you for opening our eyes, even when we're in bad times, we can still see the good from it. Lord, please keep everybody safe this week, and thank you for everything that you do. In God's name we pray, amen. Thank you guys so much for watching the Bible story today, and I hope to see some of you later on today at church. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!